Hey guys, hope you're all well. I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect up um, Pioneer's latest controllers and this particular one is a DDJ-RB and it's certified to only run record box and when I was purchasing, purchasing this I was told that under no circumstances will it run with Tractor or any other software and whatever you guys hear from the sales guys or whatever you want to call them or DJs or whatever else uh, it's a load of complete and utter bullshit um, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to run it with Tractor it's not a custom mapping it's a mapping which is directly from Pioneer I'm going to show you guys how to load that up get that running just a quick demo for you guys now this is Tractor I am running version 2.9.0 and I believe it's the most latest one I might be wrong but anyways um, this is Tractor uh, Scratch Pro running on a MacBook so everything I'm talking to you about today is going to be Mac equivalent although uh, running it on Windows might be very very similar um, so okay check this out I'm just going to give you guys a, a very quick demo to show you that Tractor does actually work uh, with this particular controller and uh, I'm fairly sure it runs with uh, a lot of other controllers as well so feel free to check it out for other controllers I actually have a, um, a DDJ uh, SB I think the model is and that runs in the same configuration and everything works on it absolutely everything um, so it's really really easy to do really simple um, so right now um, I've got a track just any random track I found queued up over here and it runs perfect so just gonna it's just a, to show you guys everything works tempo works all right so this is how to do it what you're gonna need first of all is some drivers which I will put up in the description um, you're also going to need to download uh, Pioneer DDJ SX um, which is a TSI file which is made for the SX don't worry that will run fine you're also going to need um, you'll see DMG files because it's for a Mac um, but on Pioneer's own website you'll see drivers for Mac and Windows so I'll just quickly show you those as well. So it's Pioneer's own website. So you'll see drivers. So here we go. So you got drivers. Okay, you're just going to download these drivers. You can choose to download the firmware and update that if you want to. You've got um, the driver for the um, Mac El Capitan or uh, the Yosemite for Mac. So depending on your uh, OS on your Mac, you're just going to download whichever one and run that. Install that. I'm not going to go through that with you guys, I'm sure that's self-explanatory. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Once you've got the TSI loaded up, uh, what you're then going to do is go over to settings. Okay, you're going to go down to controller manager. And you're going to go to import. You're then going to import your TSI file. So my one's just on my desktop. Yours is probably going to be in your uh, downloads folder. Okay, that's the file right there. All right, so I've already done that, so I'm not going to show you that. So once you've done that, it's then going to come up in device setup up here. Now what you're going to do is click on this little tab down here, and you're going to select all these options you can see every single option that's got your DDJ RB all of these options down here so every single one okay you're gonna go through them one by one so I'll do the first one uh, so you're gonna click that and then in port is gonna be DDJ RB and out port is gonna be DDJ RB and you continue doing that repeat that for every single one go all the way through every single option which has DDJ RB next to it okay once you've done that, um, make sure your drivers are installed and when you do install your drivers, once they are done, restart your whole PC. 
um, or Mac. Um, once you do that, you'll open settings back up again. As soon as you see audio device here, you're gonna click DDJ RB, all right? And if you see DDJ RB there, you've done it correctly, that's all you need to do, and you're up and running. Uh, if you don't, you need to repeat your steps uh, and just double check that you've got the drivers installed correctly um, and the USB installed correctly. Apart from that guys, that is pretty much it. If you do have any questions, please, please do comment and share, please. Um, so I'll let other, guy, other people know that new Pioneer controllers are able to work with Tractor. Thanks guys.